So the PS5 has an external hard drive issue. Basically, any external storage you plug into this and you have it formatted to work with PS4 games, basically being able to transfer your games from internal storage to external storage, which are PS4 games, and you'd be able to play off of that. The system will either crash in the middle of you playing a PS5 game, it'll crash while you're going through the user interface itself, or it might crash when it boots up. It just constantly just crash, crash, crash. And it's basically all because the external hard drive is being plugged into it. I have tested this with standard hard drives that are that are just spinning disk ones. I've also tested with SSD drives as well too. I've used docking stations. I've used simple cables like this for my SSDs as well all the same things sort of happen. And it's when an external storage is formatted to work with PS4 games where this happens because I did use USB storage in terms of getting video captures off of this and that doesn't have this problem. Like I have that plugged in and be just fine. But when it's formatted to work for PS4 games is when we run into this particular issue. Now I expect Sony to patch this up somewhere down the line and kind of get this fixed and hopefully add the other patch that we need to be able to expand internal storage as well too. Because right now, let's be honest, there's nowhere near enough storage on the PS5. You know, they first advertised this as one terabyte of built-in storage, then it turned into 825 gigabytes, which is on the box, but you really get 670 gigabytes of actual usable storage space. You know, all you get to do is download a few PS5 games and you'll find out you're not gonna have enough space. So really being able to expand that storage, use USB storage properly without things crashing or being able to just expand it internally is just a very needed thing. And I want to see that update come very, very soon down the road. And even when it tries to fix it, so there could be a case where you see that black screen of death and then you have the drive plugged in and says that there's some error and there's something wrong with the USB storage and it needs to fix it. You can have it run through the fixing process, but eventually it either boot right back into the UI and then crash immediately or it will just not boot. You just get the blank black screen of death here with it. So it doesn't matter with anything with this. So this is really focused mainly on PS4 games that are that are, that are are transferred over to a PS4 formatted external drive, whether it's SSD or the standard spinning hard drive, and you're trying to play games off it, or you just simply have it plugged in, you will see system instability. So Sony, hopefully you patch this up real soon. I'm pretty sure that they will but this needs to come to much, much, much sooner for a lot of folks out there because a lot of people that have a large gaming library, especially if they've been playing games for, you know, since the original PlayStation or have a lot of stuff on their PS4 and looking to upgrade and play those games, they're gonna wanna have some storage options because you just don't give us enough built in here. So hopefully this is top priority coming out. And I wanted to put this video out, obviously not to bash Sony, I just wanted to make more people aware of it and let them know that they're not going crazy that this is actually happening. And it's probably external storage that's the issue. If you unplug the storage, you won't have any problems. You should be fine 99% of the time. Although I've had a couple of bugs where I've tried to do manual saves on certain games like with Spider-Man Miles Morales, where it did crash and reboot back on me. So I don't know if that's an internal thing or a bug or something like that, but we need to kind of get this updated, fixed and working better. So we have better storage options coming up in the near future. So hopefully this will work out. Hopefully Sony will say something. Post your comments below. To let me know if you guys ran into this and if you've seen different things. And from what I'm talking about here, maybe you have a solution that's available that we need to work in intermediate outside of just unplugging it and not using the storage at all until uh, Sony makes an official fix for this on the PS5. But let me know in comments below. Also check out all our other Sony videos as well too. We have stuff, if you can't get a PS5, watch our PS5 unboxing so you can see what it comes with and get because it's still a great console. Also, if you wanna see what the UI is, tips and tricks, and just see a full menu of the system, we have that video available here as well too. So choose one of those or check out the playlist here. And as always, thanks for watching.